friends, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Skye and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel, we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. I am really excited about today's video because we're doing something that we have never really done on my channel. We're getting rid of our dresser that we've had for about six years. It really has served us well in the time that we've had it, but we've always dreamt of having kind of a his and hers dresser. And we have big vaulted ceilings in this room, so we have the height to be able to put something really cool in this space. So I can't wait to show you what we've picked out. They are not traditional dressers we're going with something I think that is pretty unique and is going to add a little bit of color to this room and is also just going to attract your eyes to this wall and I'm so excited about it with that I am also going to be creating a capsule wardrobe if you're not familiar with a capsule wardrobe or with that term don't worry, stay tuned. I'm gonna talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit, but it's something I have been wanting to do for a long time, and I thought no better time than now while we're doing this video and sharing uh, how we're gonna be storing some of our clothes in a really functional yet beautiful way. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Here is our bedroom right now. I know that we have some new friends here over on my channel, so I wanted to give just a really quick overview of this space. So many things in this space have been DIYs, like the shiplap wall that we have there on the back of the room. Also, our drop cloth curtains and basically all of this decorating our little peg rail shelf that's hanging was a DIY this is all on our channel and can be found in so many different videos that we've shared so I will be sure to link a lot of those in our video description but this is the wall that we're going to be tackling today we're going to go ahead and remove these frames these were a DIY that we did gosh almost a year ago now I think and and they definitely served their purpose. We knew they were going to be kind of a temporary fix for this wall. So it's time to take those down and then also to take our dresser out. This is something that I am just so excited about. You guys, these drawers are a hot mess. We just have completely given up on folding clothes since we've had kids. And so I'm really excited for the new cabinets we're going to be putting here because it's just going to be um, so much much roomier there's going to be so much more space and I'm going to be able to be a little bit better organized and separate my clothes from Chad's clothes and I think it's just going to make the mornings go smoother as we're getting dressed and ready for the day and it's just going to be so good all the way around so here we are pulling out the pieces for these cabinets now I just have to preface by saying that I was blown away when I found these pieces at Ikea. These are not your typical pieces of furniture from Ikea. Typically, you're going to find just like clean lines, really basic, affordable pieces. And I will say this was very affordable, but when we went into Ikea, I was actually looking at some white bookshelves that had some cabinets down below and I, they didn't have the one that I wanted in stock. And so we were just kind of walking around and stumbled upon this one. And I had actually seen it online and kind of wrote it off because it looked like it was more of a yellowish cream color online which I knew was not the color that I wanted in this space but in the store I realized that it is almost identical to the paint color that we have on our interior doors downstairs if you've been around for a while you've seen us paint those and I just was so excited and so was Chad when we found these because we both love that color so much. So it's going to add a nice subtle contrast to the white walls. But what we really loved about this piece is that it has so much character. It is just truly not the typical piece that you would find at Ikea. 
it has so much character and just reminds me of a piece that would be in a cozy cottage. There's a lot of different curves on this instead of those like straight fine lines you're used to seeing from pieces there. There's some paneling on the back. The hardware is just absolutely gorgeous and there's a lot of glass which I love. It makes it feel really open and airy. We were just so pleasantly surprised to stumble upon these. So we are here just putting these together just like any other piece of Ikea furniture. It takes a hot minute. So it took us, I think, three hours per dresser. That is like a long time. However, it was totally worth it. Even Chad says so, which is definitely saying something. We worked together. You can see Myla did pop in for a few minutes, but we ended up putting the second one together after the kids had gone to bed and we could just focus and try to get it done as quick as possible. But these are so beautiful. I hope that you guys love them. I'm going to let you kind of watch as we continue to assemble this and then uh, I'm going to show you guys my capsule wardrobe and share a little bit about that. And then we will decorate these and you'll get to see the final wall and what our room looks like when it's all completed. So I hope this gives you some inspiration for just making functional pieces in your home and being able to enjoy the spaces that you are in. Okay, so let's chat about this capsule wardrobe. If you're unfamiliar with the term, it really just means that you are creating a collection of clothes that will save you time, money, and space. I've done a lot of research over the last couple of months about capsule wardrobes and there's so many different approaches that you can take. But today I'm just gonna share how I've decided to do things. So when creating a capsule wardrobe, you're really thinking more quality over quantity. So for me, I already have a pretty minimalistic approach to things like clothing and accessories. I will say that my closet was full of so many pieces of clothing that I've gathered through the years. We're talking back 10, 15 years, pieces that I haven't worn in years, pieces that fit me pre-children and don't fit me now. And I was just kind of stowing them away and hoping that one day the clothes would come back into style or they would fit me someday. And I decided there is no need for the excess. So around Christmas time, I just went through and purged and donated so many different pieces. And now I'm down to the pieces that I actually wear. With a capsule wardrobe, you can really do it however you want and just customize it to fit your needs. I've seen capsule wardrobes with eight pieces of clothing and capsule wardrobes with 50 pieces of clothing. It really just depends on what your needs are. For me, I don't really need to change my attire to work. So my home life attire and my work life attire is very similar, which makes things really easy for me because I don't need to have a separate category of clothing that's maybe more dressy or whatever it might be. So it's definitely going to have to be tailored to your life, your circumstances. But for me, I'm going to stick to probably the 10 to 15 range as far as how many pieces. And you can also decide if you want to create this wardrobe for all seasons or for a particular season. So if you want to really, really minimize your choices and options in the morning when you're getting dressed, I would definitely recommend choosing a capsule wardrobe for that specific season. This is also great if you live in a smaller apartment or have smaller closets like we do. We have a pretty large home, but the closet and storage space is very minimal. So this is definitely one big perk for us and for our family in doing this. So I'm going to be 
picking at clothes. We're kind of in between seasons right now, at least here with the weather in North Carolina. So my pieces are going to be like winter appropriate, but also will transition nicely into spring clothing. So now I'm going to share a few pieces that are my favorite in this collection and tell you a little bit about them. And then I'm going to show you guys what you've all been waiting for, which is our wardrobes and I cannot wait. They look absolutely beautiful and honestly even more beautiful than I imagined. So I'm really excited. I'm going to decorate them and then I'm also going to fill them with my capsule wardrobes. The clothes that I'm going to be sharing in this video and a big part of my capsule wardrobe are from Ruli. Ruli is one of my favorite stores to purchase clothes from. As a mom and a business owner and um, someone who's gone through three pregnancies in four or five years, uh, my body has changed so much over time and Ruli has been a constant for me. I have been able to wear their clothing through pregnancies, through nursing my babies, and now postpartum. And I just love that I can look cute while still being so comfortable in their clothing. I have gotten so many questions since I started this YouTube channel about where a lot of my clothing is from. And I'm almost always saying it's from Ruli because honestly, they make up such a big part of my closet. I love this business for so many different reasons. Not only are the clothes super cute and functional, they've got, of course, pieces that work through pregnancy and nursing and all of that, but they also are just an amazing company. They are family owned by a Christian couple and family. They're the sweetest. I love reading about their story on their website. I love what they're doing with their business. It is just like their motto and their mission to share light and love. And they have so many causes that they work for. Um, they have lots of different special projects that they're working on, um, just different ways that they can make a difference in their own environment with their employees and then also with people in their community and around the world. So they're an amazing company to purchase from if you are looking to add to your wardrobe. I love that each one of these pieces has so much detail and character, yet they are so comfy. I can dress them up or I can dress them down. They have beautiful tops and sweaters, pants. They're getting ready to come out with a swimsuit line, which I cannot wait wait for and they also have gorgeous accessories and kids clothing and dresses this white dress is actually one that I've had for a couple of years and it is my go-to dress in the summer but I just got this beautiful pink one and I am so excited about it I love the eyelet detail I think that is just so beautiful and I also love that it hits just below my knee which is kind of my sweet spot for dresses and the button detail on the top is just so beautiful so I will have all of these pieces that I'm sharing today linked in my video description below so make sure that you go and check that out. So here I am just gathering all of my pieces. I'm starting to fold them and get them ready to put into our cabinetry. I am so excited for you guys to see it. Okay friends, here is our little reveal. I am just so in love with these pieces. I know I mentioned it earlier. These are just so not your typical pieces of Ikea furniture. They have so much character. Look at this hardware. How beautiful is this? I just cannot get over the gold detailing and I'm just loving it in our room. I think that it definitely adds just a lot of character and the paneling in the back 
I love how open everything is. The glass on the sides just really was that like final touch that I just could not get over when we were shopping these at the store. So I knew these had to come home with me. And not only that, but the amount of storage space that is in here is just unbelievable. So essentially one of these will be mine and one will be Chad's. So inside here, we're going to have our underwear, our socks, and then overflow tops and pants. you guys it just makes me so happy I feel like I have this beautiful way to display some of my favorite pieces of clothing and I even had leftover space you guys I cannot believe it so I ended up having room to put in some of my favorite blankets I was able to put in some hats in here too and I really honestly could do so much more. I could stack my clothing up on one side and blankets on another. I could add in some plants, some pictures, some like florals for the spring, some vases. There's so much space in here. But just for today, just setting it up on day one, I just wanted to go ahead and kind of fill every space with just a little something. And I'm sure I'll be playing around with this and adding more, especially as we get out of the colder months and into summer, I can pile up all of my beautiful quilts and blankets in there. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stick around and see our new arrivals from house and home on Saturday. I will see you all then and I hope you have a wonderful week.